Hey everybody, this is Midwife Nell. And I'm trying to experiment today, uh, doing a, a simulation of the anatomy to help people have a better three-dimensional understanding of anatomy um, that you encounter during the evaluation and uh, repair of birth lacerations. So I have made a model. I'm gonna switch over there in just a minute. But before we do that, I just wanna give a quick review. Um, and let's see, we'll get this the right way up. There we go. Um, what we're gonna be focusing on is the bulbocavernosus muscles, which go around uh, the vagina, and then the transverse perineal muscles. Um, when you look at this, I would like you to focus on uh, the attachments so this is going to attach uh, right here over on the uh, bony uh, prominence here on each side. And then the bulbal cavernosus will attach up here at the symphysis. And this is of significance because when these muscles get torn, they're gonna retract into the direction that their attachments are. And um, obviously we've got the rectum underneath but I wanna show you the inside as well. So when we look inside the pelvis, we're gonna have the pubovaginalis and the puborectalis muscles. So pubovaginalis goes right around the vagina. Again, puborectalis goes around the rectum. We don't see these muscles and we don't talk about them a whole lot, but they're definitely going to influence um, uh, comfort and healing. So. Let's just think about those. They are not on the model that I've made, only the uh, bulbal cavernosus, which some people um, call by another name, which is it eluding me right at this minute, um, and then the transverse perineal, so superficial transverse perineal. So I'm gonna switch right now to the model and we're gonna do a little uh, uh, evaluation. So well, let's see what we can see. So here's the model. And this is a, a traditional uh, childbirth education model that I have modified. So I have added a rectum so you can see the nice little rosette here so that you can actually do a rectal exam. This is a tube. My finger can go in to do a rectal exam to verify whether it's intact or not. Um, we're gonna start at the top with our evaluation. We're gonna find the clitoris. Um, and we'll find the urethra. Here's the urethra. We've got the labia uh, minora, labia majora, which really are not very visible on this model, but they're, they're kind of right here. Um, we've got the hymen right here. So this is the, um, the vestibule here and the hymen. And then we've got the, the uh, vaginal mucosa right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off so we can start looking at the next layers of anatomy. And I might have to do a little adjustment. This is my first time doing this. So uh, it's an adventure for all of us. I'm gonna actually take the vagina out. But if we were to take the vagina out like that, what we would find on the back side of it would be rectovaginal fascia. And I'm gonna put it inside so you can see it. We've got uh, pork loin here. Here is the rectum behind. And I'm going to lay the rectovaginal fascia on top. And then if the vagina were to go back in, it would be laying on top of the rectovaginal fascia. So when you have a very deep tear, sometimes people are thinking it's the muscle goes very deep, but it doesn't. The rectum is immediately behind the vagina, separated by the rectovaginal fascia. So... Um, I'm going to go ahead and continue taking this model off to get it out of our visual space. And then let's talk for a minute about these muscles. So here I have the clitoris. There's the, the, um, the tip of the clitoris. And then we've got the, um, the bulb of the clitoris that comes down on each side, kind of off to the side. I'm going to go ahead and take that off. This model gets dismantled piece by piece. Uh, we've got the clitoral vessels. There are also clitoral nerves here, but they go up and behind. Um, and then this is the bulbocavernosus muscle. So there are blood vessels that go across it. And often that's where you will get the, the bleeding. Um, and they're often right underneath the hymen. So when 
the bulbocavernosus muscle gets separated, it will actually retract upward. Um, the transverse perineal will retract side to side, and we can get bleeding from any of these blood vessels. I haven't yet made a model for the vagina to show uh, what happens with, say, a sulcus tear or a cervical tear, but um, we'll keep that in mind for a future time. So I was hoping that by using this strips of pork loin, that this would actually start to help people understand the musculature in a more three-dimensional way, particularly uh, if you get a tear that's only through one muscle and not through the other. It, you may decide you're trying to figure out, is it a first degree or a second degree tear? But if it goes into any muscle, it is a second degree tear. Sometimes people will get a pocket tear that goes in between the two muscles and we have to then kind of reattach them. Obviously this model is not 100% uh, realistic. I'm just trying to give you a quick overview of how the anatomy works. Let me know your thoughts, um, questions, and hopefully I will make some more models for future discussion. Thanks so much.